Representatives from 190 countries and regions are gathered in the Polish city of Katowice to discuss how to implement the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. The United States, the world's second largest producer of greenhouse gases, is noticeably absent. U.S. President Donald Trump says he does not believe there is such a thing as climate change. As Dan Williams reports, it has already taken its toll on U.S. farmers. From brutally freezing winters to boiling hot summer days, the U.S. state of Illinois must prepare for both weather extremes. But the weather patterns for this region appear to be changing. A recent scientific report issued by 13 federal agencies laid out the devastating effects climate change will have on the economy, health and the environment. For the Midwest, a key agricultural region, the report predicts an increase in crop failures, primarily because of extreme heat, drought and flooding. Jim Angel is the Illinois State climatologist and one of the report's authors. The key findings, at least for the Midwest, are the big impacts that we're seeing on agriculture already and that we're going to see even more in the future. And those are big economic impacts. Uh, obviously, anytime you're messing with the food supply of not only the U.S. but the world, uh, that can have major impacts ar around the, the region. For Midwest farmers, the higher temperatures would likely add further stress to soil erosion, plant disease and an increase in pests. This farm in central Illinois enjoyed a bumper harvest this year, but there have already been signs over the last few years that climate change is beginning to have an impact. Lynn Waffle has farmed here for 56 years. Although he remains skeptical over the cause of climate change, he has noticed the effects. When it rains, it pours. And so this land is really flat, too flat. So when we get a three or four inch rain, we have flooding. And uh, none of our crops like to be underwater. Uh, they can stand a little bit, but not for very long. And, and then the yield drops, uh, or they, they even die. The report says improvements in technology and science have so far largely insulated farming from the effects of climate change. But for how long? At some point, I think we're, it's going to break down. And then, it, then I'm very concerned, because... When you look at the food supplies of the U.S. and the world, we don't carry over that much from one year to the next. Like, so when we get into drought year, the next year the, the supplies are fairly tight. So if we have multiple bad years, that's when it's going to really be a, a large impact, not only on the U.S., but on the world markets. There is still hope. Angel says making efforts to reduce greenhouse gases can still reduce the severity of the impact. The question, though, is whether those efforts will be made. Dan Williams, CGTN, Tolono, Illinois.